I'm Megan Schiller of the Medill News Service. The nuns are back in town, rolling into our nation's capital. Their arrival marks the end of their nine-state tour to speak out against the current House Republican budget. We did this tour right now because some Catholic politicians are pushing a budget cuts that violate Catholic social teaching. They're not spring chickens, but they're still clucking along. I'm 81 years old and I'm still going. That's what it means when you're committed. They're fired up about the federal budget submitted by Wisconsin Congressman Paul Ryan. The catch? Congressman Ryan is Catholic. He's just misguided. Many politicians offer deeply flawed theological justifications for the federal budget. They ought to get some theological help. The nuns call the Ryan budget a sin since it would cut funding to programs that help the poor. Food stamps create not complacency, but opportunity. The nuns on the bus are doing more than just opposing Representative Ryan's budget. They've come up with one of their own. It's 50 pages long, and it's called the Faithful Budget. The Faithful Budget was created by the D.C. interfaith community. Wow, did we struggle. Remember those late-night emails, and we thought we were going to lose it? The nuns may be no longer on the bus, but they hope their message goes around and round. Megan Schiller, Medill News Service.